Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here with another Adobe InDesign Basics tutorial. This is number three, and today we're gonna to be talking about Master Pages. What a Master Page does is it allows you to create one design that can be applied to multiple pages. So for example, if you're working with you know a 285 page document, then you don't want to apply something like a page number or formatting to each and every one of those to make sure that they are in line with the previous pages. So what you do is you create a master page, apply it to all of them, and then just make small adjustments to each one of the pages. To create a master page, it's pretty easy. Just go to the Pages tab right here. If you don't have that, it's usually always open by default. But if you don't have that, um, reset to Essentials or just go into Windows and find Pages right here and make sure it's open. You're going to go to the top, right-click it, and then click New Master. And then from here, you're going to just give it a prefix, and that's important because it's gonna put a letter or a number in the top right so you know which master is applied. It can go up to four characters long, and then just a name so that when you look at it, you'll understand what you're thinking when you put it in there. Um, that can be really long. I'm just gonna go with B master page here. I'm gonna click OK, and now we've created our spread. And if you notice, if we double click here, this means we're in the actual pages, and if we double click up here, we are in the master pages where we can't go up and down because there's only two pages. And so we're just going to go ahead and open up a document here. Um, let's go ahead and open up this symbol right here, a little symbol I created a while ago. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to shrink this down. So we're gonna hold the control key first, and then click, and then the shift key. And then we can also hold alt as well. Whoops, and it'll, do this and so let's let's walk through those keys real quick so i held down the control key first and that makes it so that the box uh, the stuff inside the box adjusts with the box look if i don't hold the control key it just cuts everything away or it just makes empty space so to hold the control key will make the the content fit to whatever you're doing holding the shift key makes sure it's uniform so that you keep the dimensions it started with and then holding alt makes it shrink from inside um itself so uh, it's, it shrinks from the center instead of the anchor point, which is usually in the bottom left. It makes it a little bit easier to judge distances. So now we've added this down in the bottom left, then we can go ahead and, I don't know, add a little text here. Adobe Masters. Whoops. Masters Inc. Sure, Inc. We'll go incorporated. Um, so yeah, we added that down in the bottom. Let's drag it on over to here. And so now here's where the fun part happens. You just click and you highlight all the pages you want to apply to, right click and then click apply master to pages. Then go in here and just choose your master. We're gonna go B master, click okay. And now B has applied to all of them. And so now if we go back into the document, we can see that our logo and the Adobe masters incorporated has actually been applied to every single one of them. And if we go up here, we go to preview mode. You can see that now every single page has it in the exact same spot and yeah on the left page right there makes it so much easier we don't have to make sure that these are you know aligned with with each other if we want to make a change we make one small change and adjust all of them and yeah just really really simple to do and the really cool part is i can no longer touch this so i cannot mess up a master it is permanently behind it like we painted it on the back and now we can adjust things on the front of it Let's go back here into normal mode. And so now let's go back into our master page here. And so a cool thing you could do with this is you can go ahead and, so we're gonna go into the text feature. We're gonna go on the top left here. We're gonna highlight here. And then we're going to go into type and then down to, where is it at? Special character, insert special character, marker, and then current page number. So now it's going to insert a page number. We can hold Alt to zoom in a little bit. And it just, it it did B because that is the um, the prefix that it has. So it's just saying what it is. But now if we go back into our document, you'll notice that on all the left pages, we have the current page. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we have a page number applied really, really simply and it keeps track of itself. A lot of special characters, you can do this that'll have relationships to what it's actually doing but that makes it really, really easy. And so now just something else we could do is these are placeholders right here, so rectangle frame tools. So we can go ahead and say, um, you know, they're all gonna have a picture right here and then grab a text document, yeah, yeah, right here. And then, you know, a frame right here and a, a frame right, oops, I'm not in my master. See, that's, that's something that sometimes happens is you're either in one of the, or the other. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and just, you can just control Z out of that. And then we're gonna go into the master page. So 
So double click on the master and then now we can do what we're doing. So yeah, create just a couple text box here. Really, really random stuff, but you'll see that all of them are adjusting now. So now we're back in the normal document and they all had these text box in them. And these text box are completely adjustable so we can just drag pictures into them. So instead of having to draw the text box every single time, we could format every single page the way that we want and then just drag images and drop them into all of the, the text box, or in, I keep saying text box, but they're really frame holders. Keep dragging all the images into the frame holders and makes it a lot easier on our part. We can do the same with text box as well. So we can create a lot of really just format the entire document how we want it to in the master page, apply it to all, and then we just have to make small adjustments by just adding the content and it basically fills itself out. Master pages are really, really great. That's, yeah. So that's basically it on this tutorial. Um, thanks everyone for joining me. That's master pages. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Um, until next time, guys, see ya.